Hello guys, my name is North of Lamem Gang fame, 16 Lamem Gang, and I'm here to talk about my top 10 favorite productions ever. So Godzilla, Godzilla was um, a beat I made for the project NASA. The whole notion and reasoning behind Godzilla was um, the, the takeoff of a spaceship. So you see the beat sounds like an, uh, an evolution, a, a takeoff, a sequence. The ta na 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 it, it, it was it was it was to um replicate the 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 astro takeoff sound that's the main reason behind the way it sounds godzilla okay so i'll, I'll give it to you from scratch right um I, right before i did the godzilla beat i was listening to um kid Cudi, um day and night and if you if you if you if you you're a Kid Cudi fan, if you're a rager, you, 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 you find a trace of the day and night in the Godzilla. Because the day and night goes like... So like that was a, the, the, the song I was listening to right before I made the Godzilla beat. So I was like, should I say... Um, that, that song pointed me in the right direction for the Godzilla beat. Or at least the sequence sound for the takeoff progression I wanted. Then I added that... Dun, dun, dun. That's actually a sample from a Ghanaian song which I don't know. Yeah, I just picked it out. It was though so many, but it's from a, a, a famous Ghanaian song. I just have to like figure it out and I'll let you guys know. I I, I don't even want you guys to know. It's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Cause I played it to a whole number of I played it to so many artists and it's a challenging beat. It's a challenging beat because even the intro, the, the beat was so challenging to the boys that the, the intro startup became the chorus. The vibes Sony, vibes Sony was what Darko Vibes was using to start the track. Like, okay, vibes, 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 so vibe. He was trying to get a, a vibe. You know, the, the, the chorus was really challenging. But yeah, the, my boys did justice to it more than any, anybody I can imagine. Yeah, what's that? Placebo, placebo. Okay, so placebo. Placebo was was I was really wilding out on placebo. So I was listening to um a sample pack from a Bulgarian choir, and I heard I heard that Russian roulette that that thing. Uh, there's a there's a continuous sample that goes from the beginning to the end. I just chopped it up to sound that way. But if you if you listen to the, the actual song, it's really good. Yeah. That song was the main influence to the placebo beat. I make I make my beats before we make the songs. It's not like a song before beat thing. So yeah. Then I just added my kicks and an Afro trap um, 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 hi hat progression to make it sound local. To make to give the boys a bounce, the placebo, the bounce, yeah. And that was it. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> The beat elements, um, so it has um, rush, a, a Bulgarian flute, mm, a Bulgarian flute, um, a normal standard kicks, a normal, just a, a snare, then hi-hats. It was really that simple, just the sample, the kick, the snares, and the hi-hats. <laughs> it was really a simple beat. Pray for me. Yep. So, Pray For Me was initially called Beach House. It was a beat I made that I, I, I made for Joey B. I played for him, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. We never got to it. Then Kwesiata had it, and he, he it was like he wanted it. Um, Pray For Me, so... Okay, let me, let, me, let me speak of it as Beach House, because that's how I made it. So, I made, it, I, I, I made the song with the intention of it sounding like um, the shores of the sea. So you see, it's very spiritual. It's like very calm, yeah. And Kusiata got it and turned it into pray for me. So yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful, right? Pray for me. <laughs> yeah. So um, the the beat starts out with a, a synth, a very um churchful synth. That's very spiritual and very you know drawn to the spirit, drawn to the soul type of sound. Like the the beat. As soon as you hear the beat, it moves you right away. It takes you into a trance. That trance, that sound, that synth sound is what gives it that transcendence feel. Yeah. Oh, Cupid. Oh. 
Cupid. Cupid, Cupid, Cupid is very emotional because I, I started working on Cupid um, the the morning my 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 aunt died. So it was it was it was like a really emotional beat for me. But I, Cupid, Cupid was not a one one um, a, like a a one time production thing. I, I did it over months, uh, but I started it out on yeah on that um, Saturday, yeah. But something I did over time, I was working on it every other day. I don't know why why that Cupid was so, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know why, but Cupid was a special thing to me. Yeah. And I dedicated it to my late auntie and my late dad. So, yeah. So, um, I, I initially made Cupid as a standard, standalone beat with no vocals from anyone. I wanted to it to represent my skill or my ability to make beats to the highest form. That's why it's so clustered and and, and so a lot. But it was on purpose. I, I, I made all that for a purpose. Then Darko heard it and he offered ideas. Um, um, ideas that I felt that we were very great and were going to impact the song. He, he he gave the song a certain feel and a certain mood to, to the song and uh, like a, 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 an emotional attachment that I felt like yeah, it was going to really like resound with the with the song, and it was great. It was great. The reason why the reason why we were able to arrange it so perfectly was that everything everything was 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 going to be played out like just beats from the beginning to the end. Then I added some chords. I added some synths. I, I, I really love using synths. Like if you can tell from Pray For Me and most of my other productions, you hear a very like spiritual church synth. Yeah, because I, I learned how to play like basic keyboard from the church. So yeah, it's, it's a thing that's with me. Um, so it was going to be like a standalone beat, but I needed to um, also show my prowess as a producer and you know, as a, you know, my, my, my talent, as I, I said, to the highest form. So I needed to show, yeah, so I also gave myself like a time range to just show my ability, yeah. So, um, Ranger was actually the, the one of the second beats I made for Joey after he had played me like, um, um, demos of his EP, Daryl. So as soon as he played me the songs, I got like an idea and like a description of the soundscape and what he wanted to do. So even um, Ranger was was I made when I when I when the final name of the beat I sent to Joey was Accra Ranger, like Texas Ranger, Accra Ranger. That was like the whole you know an Accra cowboy. That was the whole notion behind the beat with the sounds of like horses, um, stables, like making the beat. I felt like you should feel like a, a cowboy in Accra, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Joey, Joey is an amazing artist, and how he handles beats is something that blows my mind all the time. Like I don't, I don't, I, I question it not. I question his methods not. I, I, I believe him like fully. He's amazing. Yeah, I made it for him. So like, I, you see how the question is a little bit tough. I made it for him, so I believe he did it 101 percent. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Digits. Okay. So digits I originally made for Quincy Arthur, and when I was like right about to send the beat to Quincy Arthur, um, especially was came to my crib, and he was like, "Yo, let me hear that shit," and I played it for him, and like he, he just started spitting out um, <laughs> the chorus, the digit. That thing was like crazy, cause like, yeah. So it ended up being Spacely's song featuring Quincy Arthur, and you know Quincy Arthur is the, like the homie, the little bro. He understands everything, so he was like cool. And yeah, he helped on it and like it made it more amazing. So we even had the remix before the original. And yeah. Shouts to Kwasi Arthur, man. So so you, um, if 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 you're a fan of me or like you follow my works and my productions, you you might notice I don't like work with a lot of artists. I work with like a limited amount of artists. I mean I've sent like a lot of beats to like your favorite artists and all of that, but not all of them fully understand my methods and my techniques or my vision or my sound. So 
normally the people you find on my productions or my music are people that I fuck with to a hundred and they are able to like give me the fullest of them to support the fullest of me to make art. You feel me? So I don't question nobody's source after I've worked with a person. I won't, I won't work with a person if I have, question, I have a question with the source. You feel me? So I believe that if the song is out and it's produced by North, yeah, I fuck with the nigga. You feel me? So Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming was me, was me um, um, making a beat that sounded like one of my favorite producers and it just turned out to be that because that time Metro was banging crazy and I was like yo <laughs> I need to do something like Metro you feel me so like all, all big all credits to Metro for inspiring me on that Narcos Trap sound um, so yeah like basically the Ming is a Narcos Trap sound if you are a fan of Narcos you, you hear the sample from Narcos the whole Pablo thing and BS and especially went crazy, they went nuts, believe me. Um, the Narcos soundtrack I sampled and 808s. And funny enough, um, my beats sound weird and all of that, but like I don't use much. I just use like a one string sample, um, my standard kicks, snares and hi-hats. Your percussions, that's where all the, the bounce is at, so yeah. Tip to the producers. <laughs> Mama is also on the NASA um, NASA project. Um, Mama, Godzilla, Cupid. If you're a fan of me and you follow me, you should you should know where all these songs are leading to. The grand finale, NASA. Thanks for flying. <laughs> um, Mama, Mama, Mama is, is is a song of a lost boy in space crying out for his mom. But I mean, no, I haven't been to space. It's it's just a a replication of what or how life is hard and how our moms are praying for us and our moms are the real OGs. You feel me? But I, I took it to I took it to a Christopher Nolan concept because I'm a huge fan of Christopher Nolan. If you know Christopher Nolan. So I, I, I took a normal a crowd a crowd boy struggling to replicate a boy struggling in space. A boy stranded in space. That's how the sounds the song sounds like. You should you should check it out if you haven't. That was the whole notion behind the song. There's a lot of and I had co-production from Nikwe. Big ups to Nikwe. He helped me out with some rock star strings. That shit was nuts. That shit went hard. <laughs> yeah, so come on me, come on me, come on me, come on me, come on me. Come on me was like an alarm was like a, a giant foot. That's how I wanted the beat to sound like, like, like you're just you're just there and a giant, a big giant foot has come to sit on you. It's like an alarm, an alarm for help, like a cry for help. Like if you see the order, like the 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 synths in the camera were going crazy. The ta -na, ta -na, ta -na, ta -na, like yeah, it's like uh, it's it's Lamem saying that like we're here, like boom, we're here. <laughs> Yo, come on, me tell them, let them know, yeah. I so no, I made them around the same time. And if you're a producer and you 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 around the same time you make some certain beats, you have a sound. Yeah, that sounds like that, and it's all generated from that NASA sound. But Kemal Mui is not it's not NASA, but it's it's still from that sound. So maybe that's why it sounds that way. But it's not that it sounds like Godzilla. It sounds like me. You feel me? It's, it's not that it sounds like Godzilla. It sounds like something I made because I made it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Gold Coast 2 um, is, a, is a single from my project Labadi. It's a summer project. More, um, it's, more it's, it's a different project. I took a different approach to that project because it's, a, it's a more like an Afro. It's a different side of North. Um, people haven't really seen. It's me like venturing on the Afro wave. And yeah, that's like, like um, should I say, um, a teaser? Yeah, a teaser from it. And Gold Coast, like the, the like the name, that's how I the, the B the B was when I sent the B it was titled Gold Coast. So you, I mean it's, it's, it sounds like gold. <laughs> that's how I, I mean I, I, I like you found gold at the at the at the, at the seashore like for free. 
that's how I want you to feel like how free, how free you feel if you found gold on the seashore. <laughs> you know, how cool, how cool would that be, right? <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Yeah. I always try to make people feel certain things in my productions because that's what like carries the song, like the whole atmosphere of the song. Like beats and instrumentals are like the atmosphere of the music. And the vocals are like what conveys the message. Like, you know, for what the artist has to say to his fans or who be it, whoever is trying to listen to it, you feel me? So yeah, I try to give them the best atmosphere to convey their message as a producer. Yeah, which also suits my sound. <laughs> yeah. Rage. <laughs> rage. Or <laughs> rage. <laughs> rage, bro. <laughs> it's your boy and all your baby. And the F is for Freya Sauce. South God, Vibe Song, Vibe Song. You just check me out on iMula. My top 10 favorite beat productions I ever made. Feel me? Gang. <laughs>